Oh, Marie, kia ora katoa katoa. Ko Rex Landy tuku ingoa. Modi order. My name's Rex Landy and I wonder how Deb Russell enjoyed my submission on Wednesday. I could see she was triggered. She had to go and stretch her back. The casual contempt and sneering disdain shown by all of the committee members is absolutely disgusting. This is not a democracy, it's a democracy when people like that are allowed to just sit there and sneer, you know. Deb Russell would like to tell me to fuck off. Well, come and say it to my face, Quizzling, Snatch pastry, that's what you are. Yeah, you're giving our rights away. And you're also a snollygoster. You're the woman on the um, one select committee that said to small business owners that you're losers. That's why you're small business owners. You're not capable of doing any other job, so that's why you set up your business. Yeah, these are the members of your government. This is what they think of you. And by the way, performing linguistics gymnastics, you know, linguistic gymnastics for the feelings of men is not getting exercised, Deb, so no wonder your back's fucked. I didn't swear at, at all, but you want to tell me to fuck off. I pay your salary through my taxes. How dare you? You're getting paid over a 100 grand a year to sit there and sneer. All your fucking colleagues are sitting there knitting and texting and openly typing. You're typing. You're probably on Twitter going, oh, the mean turf told facts. You know what turf stands for? Told everyone real facts. Tired of explaining reality to fuckwits. You've been told by lawyers and doctors about this. It's going to be an unmitigated disaster. And you're still going to carry on. You've been told because the feelings of men, you've been told by a prison guard that women are being raped in prison and are getting pregnant, but the feelings of how men feel is better and much better. Ian McKelvey, you're a bloody quizzling. And look at you, the stale pale male with the dude bro code. The bro code's in force when you start trying to talk over women who are saying rapists, murderers. Yeah, these people committed these crimes. These people, these men... And dresses. Well, they committed these crimes when they were men and now they're stunning and brave women. And you're saying they need to go in my prison. You can fuck off, Deb Russell. Yes, all the way. And when you get there, keep fucking off. And then when you get there, fuck off some more. Yeah, I didn't swear, but I wanted to swear at you, you fucking quizzling. You might be all right taking a dump next to somebody in a toilet, but let's be honest, you're never, ever, ever going to use a public toilet outside the Kuru Lounge, are you? Any of you? Fucking wake up. And to people who want that validation and we have to validate you, the only place you can be a woman or a man and pretend, because it's the biggest game of pretend I've ever seen, the only place you'll ever be a woman is on a birth certificate that you've falsified or on a gender recognition certificate. Get back to me when it fixes your male pattern baldness, boy. I don't have to validate you. That's compelled speech. The last time we saw that was 1933 Germany. And by the way, I don't have to validate anybody. Have some of this. Yep, it says, let me just, yeah, fuck you and fuck your pronouns. I don't have to validate you and I never will. Die mad about it. Cope, seethe and dilate. And Deborah Russell, fuck off.